Patrick Star. Today we are creating a Patrick Star cake to partner my SpongeBob cake. Hello you guys, my name is Andy Bernard. I'm very proud of this cake, so let's get started. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so that you can see all of my videos as soon as they go up. Now to create this cake, I am using my silicone adjustable cake pan. You've seen me use it before. I should be a part of the infomercial for this because I love it. You just attach each of these silicone things together. You create a loop. And this is what you use to create your baking pan. This is the size of your baking pan. So you can create any shape you want. They come loose sometimes, but that's okay because nobody's shaking your cake in the oven. It was perfect for this cake because it's such a weird shape. It's kind of a triangle shape, kind of. I don't know. I still have to carve away a lot because it morphed in the oven. So I'm doing the cake basics, cutting my cake in half. Now I'm adding on a Patrick stencil and just cutting away a lot of cake. Now I'm gonna carve down the edges just a little bit to create Patrick's shape. I don't want this to be a completely flat cake. I wanted to round out the sides just so that it looks a little bit more like Patrick. I'm curious, would you like to see me turn Patrick and SpongeBob's house into cakes? I think that would be a pretty bomb idea. Is it too late for that? I've done SpongeBob's cakes before, but they were not. You saw what happened. I think I need to do it again just so that I can get it just right. Now if you want to see this entire cake disaster, I'll leave links in the description box. I gave my entire cake a crumb coat and a fix it coat to hold in all the crumbs so that they don't appear on the next layer of fondant. Sometimes I have to peel the fondant off because I screwed up and it's hard to re-roll when you've got too many crumbs. It's happened before you guys. Now I'm covering my entire cake with some pink fondant. Whoa, what kind of fondant is this? Patrick is like a charming cherry pink. Look at that. Thanks Dun Edwards for these awesome cards. It's got a little bit of yellow and orange in it. It's beautiful. Ooh, pink glamour is also working really hard too. After that, I started to carve out all of Patrick's features. I'm just pushing down the fondant and the cake to separate his arms from his belly. I push down a lot to create his mouth and I'm just inserting some very dark crimson fondant to create the inside of Patrick's smile. This saved me so much time. Usually I have to like roll like very small pieces of fondant to create a whole bunch of teeth. No, I didn't have to do any of that. Just one tooth, worked on his eyes and started to add some detail to create his cheek. He's so strange. He's got one tooth, but he's got two eyebrows. Has anyone ever questioned that? I don't know. <laughs> now he has two black pupils and I added two catch lights, but I wasn't completely happy with that. So I'm adding a little bit of white food coloring just to give his eyes a sort of iridescent look. Now I'm not creating a complete Patrick cake. I'm adding just the top of his shorts. You know, just like SpongeBob, I got lazy. Most people don't really care about the bottom part of the cake. They just want to see the face. I'm aware of that. I'm not going to waste my time creating a whole bunch of shorts. It saved me so much time. All I really had to worry about was the rim of his shorts. Oh gosh, he looking cute. And that belly button. It's an innie? Wow. They're adding a little bit of detail with some dots. Like he's got the chicken pox. But I think that's just like starfish detail, right? You don't got the chicken pox. And I'm adding a huge hunk of fondant to create his left arm. And it's waving. It's waving hello to you. <laughs> and voila, my Patrick cake was complete. I knew I had to create Patrick because I didn't want to just make SpongeBob by himself. He needed a friend and this is his best friend, so why not? I love the way that both of these cakes turned out. SpongeBob and Patrick look exactly like the pictures that I use as references. If you want to see my SpongeBob videos, I'll leave links in the description box. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what cakes you'd like to see me make next, and I will see you very soon. Peace!